Despite receiving mixed reviews upon its initial release, the Nintendo GameCube is considered one of the most beloved and innovative consoles ever released. Originally released in North America in 2001, the GameCube sold 22 million copies worldwide during its lifespan. Some of its flagship titles include Metroid Prime, Super Mario Sunshine, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Animal Crossing, and of course, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Due to its relatively short timeline of production, the number of games produced for the GameCube was far lower than that of its competitors. This scarcity caused some of the GameCube titles to eventually skyrocket in value. Today, we'll look at the rarest GameCube games on the market. Quick disclaimer. The prices mentioned in this video are based on the listed new prices found on PriceCharting.com. The prices often fluctuate and the exact prices mentioned in this video are based on what they were at the time of recording. Let's get started. Hey, listen. Gotcha Force is a third person shooter and fighting game developed by HAL Laboratory and published by Capcom in 2003. The gameplay sees the player take control of a child named Ku who attempts to save the earth from gotcha borgs known as the Death Force by collecting and battling gotcha toys. The game was met with negative reviews upon its initial release, but has garnered a cult following in the years since. Currently, a new copy of Gotcha Force is selling for $744.78. Go Go Hypergrind is a skateboarding game developed by Atlas and released in North America in 2003. In the game, the player can select one of several characters to play as while they create combos through interacting with other characters. The game also features a versus game mode where two players can compete against each other or against the computer to get the highest score. Currently, a new copy of Go Go Hypergrind is selling for $800. Allegedly, only 4,000 copies of NCAA College Basketball 2K3 were released, causing the value of existing copies to drastically increase in value over the past several years. The game received relatively positive reviews upon its initial release, and the cover features former Duke Blue Devils guard Jay Williams, who would go on to play for the Chicago Bulls from 2002 to 2003. Currently, a new copy of NCAA College Basketball 2K3 is selling for $1,088. Hey, listen! The Super Monkey Ball 2 pack contains copies of both Super Monkey Ball 1 and Super Monkey Ball 2 and was released in 2004. The Super Monkey Ball games are a popular series of arcade platform games developed by Amusement Vision and published by Sega. In the Super Monkey Ball games, the player attempts to navigate their character through increasingly challenging courses, with the ultimate goal of reaching the goal gate before the timer runs out. The player can earn bonus points and extra lives by collecting bananas on the stage. There have been several Super Monkey Ball sequels over the years, like Super Monkey Ball Deluxe and Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Currently, a new copy of the Super Monkey Ball 2 pack is selling for $1,499.99. Hey, listen! One of the most coveted GameCube games ever released, Pokemon Coliseum, was originally released in North America in 2004. The North American pre order included a bonus disc that allowed the player to download the Pokemon Jirachi onto Game Boy Advance games Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. Pokemon Coliseum is a 3D role-playing game where the player takes control of a Pokemon trainer and visits various towns while battling enemy trainers and completing different quests. Currently, a new copy of the pre-order edition of Pokemon Coliseum is selling for $1,806. The Sonic Adventure 2 pack features two popular Sonic titles 
Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut is actually a remaster of Sonic Adventure, which was originally released on the Sega Dreamcast in 1999. The remaster includes updated graphics and added features. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is a modified version of the original Sonic Adventure 2 and features popular characters like Knuckles, Shadow, and Tails in two good versus evil stories. Currently, a new copy of the Sonic Adventure 2 pack is selling for $1,937.89. The Metroid Prime and Zelda Wind Waker combo offers players two classic Nintendo titles in one bundle. Metroid Prime is an action-adventure game developed by Retro Studios and released in North America in 2002. In the game, the player controls the character Samus, whose main objective is to collect the 12 Chozo artifacts. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is a highly acclaimed entry in the popular Legend of Zelda series. The game was initially released in 2003 and follows the character Link as he sails across the Great Sea to help save his sister from Ganondorf. The game is notable for its unique art style and soundtrack. Currently a new copy for the Metroid Prime and Zelda Wind Waker combo is selling for $2,725. Hey, listen! Pokemon Box Ruby and Sapphire functions as a storage box for players to store and transport their Pokemon from the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire Game Boy Advance games. It allows players to store up to 1,500 Pokemon and has become sought after for avid collectors. The game also allows players to view the stats, levels, and moves of the Pokemon they have stored. Currently, a new copy is selling for $2,749. Hey, listen! Disney Sports Basketball was published by Konami and released for the GameCube in 2002 alongside a series of Disney Sports games including Disney Sports Football, Soccer, and Skateboarding. The game features popular Disney characters like Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. In the game, players select a team and then compete against each other. Despite receiving mixed reviews, a new copy of the game is selling for Surprisingly, the most expensive GameCube game is the Sonic Heroes and Super Monkey Ball Duo Pack. The combo pack features two popular Sega properties in Sonic and Super Monkey Ball. The specific games it includes are Sonic Heroes and Super Monkey Ball. It was developed by the Sonic team and published by Sega in 2005. The Duo Pack is so rare that it's hard to find much information online about it. There have only been a few documented sales of the game over the years, which has contributed to its status as one of the rarest games in existence. Currently, a new copy of the game sells for an astronomical $12,615. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been trying to post more consistently on my channel, so look forward to more videos coming soon. Let me know down below if you have any of the games I mentioned in the video or what your favorite GameCube game is. As always, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section down below. See you next time.